This is the KNF Concept ND2 2400 variable ND filter. Let's see if it's any good or not. Quick disclaimer, KNF Concept sent me this product completely for free, but this video is not sponsored. So first of all, let's see what you're going to get inside this box. Well, magnets. This is the case for the variable ND filter. It looks like leather, but it is not leather. Magnets. And if you want to access the filter itself, you're going to pull this orange thingy and the filter will come out. This is super cool. This filter will cost you somewhere between 60 to 80 US dollars, depends on what thread size version you're going to buy. Links of course would be down below in the description. All right, now let's take a closer look at this variable ND filter. So this is how it looks. As you can see, it has this green violet tint to it, at least the glass itself. Build quality is amazing. It's built completely out of metal. Everything here is metal except the filter glass, obviously. And you have this orange thing in here at the top, just to easily twist the filter around. And I must say it feels very, very smooth, very smooth. Unfortunately, this filter does not have any hard stops, so it's going to spin all around, as you can see. And you do get some indications on what stop of ND you're using. You have here uh, some dots, as you can see. Let me focus. Dots and an arrow. Now I'm using the ND400, and obviously I can change it to something different. All right, now I'm going to go outside and do some tests for you guys. I want to see if this variable ND filter introduces X's, crosses, vignetting, color shifts, and so on. So right now I am shooting without using the ND filter. It's the middle of the day. My white balance is set to daylight, 5500 Kelvin. Shutter speed, 6400, f2.8, ISO 640. And I am shooting in F-Log with my Fujifilm X-T4 and the Fujinon 16-55 lens. This is how the color looks like, and this is how it looks like without using the ND filter from KNF Concept. Now, I am going to mount this ND filter, and let's see if there's any vignetting, color shifts, or excess crosses. All right, so now I have the ND on my lens, and my shutter speed is still set to 6400. Let me adjust the shutter speed to double the frame rate. 1 over 50 in my case. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the exposure with the ND filter. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good, guys. Look at that. KNF Concept said no X's, no crosses, and... Let me see something. Okay, this is now ND400. This is ND2. If I go to ND, between ND2 and 400, nothing is happening when it comes to crosses and X's. But if I go a little bit above ND400, check this out. The only reason why it's happening is because this filter does not have hard stops. I think they should have put hard stops on this ND. It would have been so much easier to use. Do you see any color differences between not using the variable ND and with using the variable ND? If so, let me know down below. There's many bugs in here. All right, so conclusion. Should you get this variable ND filter from KNF Concept, even though it introduces X's, crosses, and so on? I think it depends. If you're on a budget, then maybe. If you're not on a budget, then do not get this ND filter because it's going to be annoying to use. I'll explain to you in a second exactly why. But for the price, you're getting great build quality. You're getting this nice case with these cool magnets and this cool tab thing. And if you're going to stay between the ND2, which is here, and the ND400 without overstepping the ND400, then you're not going to see that much of excess and crosses 
and so on. Because as you can see, if I'm between, if I'm exactly between the ND2 and ND400, there is no excess crosses and so on. Once I overstep the ND400, that's where I start to see the crosses, excess and whatnot. Personally, I would not buy this ND filter for myself because it would be too annoying to use. I would constantly have to look on the side, on the arrow and like, okay, this is ND400, I cannot go above it because if I'm going to go above it, it's going to introduce excess and crosses and so on. But if you have the patience to look on the side and see that you're not overstepping the ND400, then I think for the price, it's still a decent ND filter.